Carolina Pistons were at home tonight in search of their first home wins of the season, but it would be a tough test against Fargo post number two. The Pistons were coming off of Saturday's doubleheader sweep at the hands of West Fargo after opening the season with a sweep at Williston. So let's head out to Corbett Field, where it was a nice day for baseball. Let's pick this one up here, top of the first. Fargo's Jace Dew with a nice drive here the other way. But how about the Vistas? Caleb Ring here on the drive or dive, making a nice stop there. Bottom of the first, now the Vistas with a runner on, but pitcher Tyler Thrash gets Jack Plummel to hit into the inning, ending 4 6 3 double play. Top of the second now, Fargo post two gets on the board. Sam Moser is going to single through the right side of the infield, past a diving Logan Merck. Drew Sandy would score, making it a 1 0 game. And then, top of the third, Fargo would add another as Cole Haig is going to rope one down the left field line. That is in for a double. Dew scores all the way from first. That made it 2 0 Fargo. And then, the bottom of the third, it's Thrash with back to back strikeouts. He catches Ring looking right here. The final Fargo post uh, number two takes game one 12 to three, but the Vistas bounce back in game two, three to one. The Vistas will be traveling tomorrow as they head down to Fargo to take on post 400. It was the season opener tonight for the Surrey Blue Sox who hosted Renville County. Bottom of the seventh, Surrey trailing by one, but it's Connor Dyke here with the grounder to short, and that brings home Ryder Holine. We're going to extra innings tied at three. Top of the eighth, the Muskrats a little bases for Caleb Fulton, who had a big night from the ninth spot. He doubles to the gap in right center. Dalton Moberg and Brian in the Santos score to make it a 5-3 game. A couple of batters later, Henry Savico with a hard ground at a short. Zane Wenstead scores. The throw would go wide of second base. Fulton would score as well. The final in eight innings, Renville County down Surrey 7-3. Meanwhile, in game two, it was Surrey coming back to get Renville County 4-3.